the idea. Something can't be defined, but can only be expressed in motion. Speaking of in motion and change, that's when and only when um, regeneration can happen. You know, psychological, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical regeneration can happen. It's based on physics. And the thing behind physics, in order for something to move, it has to be moved by force. And what is the strongest force to get behind? What is exactly the substance of things hoped for? and the evidence of things not seen? Is it a mental representation of something not actually present to the senses? Could it be everything manifested as a mental picture first, then brought into the expression by the forming of power you know, within the imagination while being made in the image? Or do we accumulate a mass of these ideas about substance of life in our imagination that molds them into uh, shape? It's one thing to desire it, but it's another thing to uh, form it into a living, breathing thing through every motive. It's one thing to get the idea or the ideal image necessary, and it's another thing to bring it into uh, a perfect organism from a mind that's made perfect. So how do you get your mind to be made perfect? It's one thing to be in the concept of change. And then it's another thing to be under the awareness of change. But how do you know when you're in the awareness of change? And you can basically decode the substance.